Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, about construction of uh, of, a, of a heap uh, in in top down manner. Uh, so this is how it's going to look like in the end. Uh, uh, these are the uh, keys in sequence, and how do we construct the heap of this uh, this sequence in top down and top down manner? Uh, uh, why do we call it as top down? Is we start from the beginning and we construct it. When you look at the heap in the end. Uh, so basically, we constructed the heap from the top. Right. So let's look at this uh, this this method uh, in little detail. Before that, I would like to introduce a, a, a procedure where how to insert a new element, uh, new key in, in into an existing heap. Suppose we have a heap of uh, six uh, six nodes, node one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how they are represented in the array with six uh, locations in the in the array. And it's already a heap. Now I would like to insert a, a new key into the heap, which is value 10 here. So uh, the way we do it is uh, insert that element into the seventh location of the array. That will automatically mean it's a, it's a right child of uh, eight here. Uh, but and so it, it's satisfying. It is already satisfying the shape property. Now the only worry is whether it is satisfying the heap property. Look at check that. Uh, uh, this way, uh, the new node which is being inserted here is then check with its parent whether it is satisfying the uh, parent parental dominant. It is not in this case. So ten will uh, eight will be pulled down and ten will go here, and ten is it is still needed to check with its its parent. Now the parental dominance is not uh, is not satisfied here. So swap with uh, nine also. So nine will be pulled down and ten goes here. Now it's already at the root. It doesn't have any parent, so obviously it is satisfying the parental dominant. Now that's how uh, the new node is inserted. What if uh, it were something like say 8.5? Uh, so then it would uh, it would be swapped with 8, and 8.5 will go here. But 8.5 is less than 9, so the parental dominance is already there. So then it it won't swap with that, and we can stop there. So essentially, uh, the way to insert a new node is uh, keep looking for the parental dominance uh, in its ancestral path up to root. If the parent, if the parental dominance satisfies at any point, stop there. That's the heap is uh, that's already uh, heap is already constructed there for the with, with the new element. Uh, otherwise, go till the root and then stop there. Now let's uh, take an example and and construct the heap from beginning to end. Uh, here, here is the sequence of uh, keys to be inserted. There are there are ten in, to be precise. Let's start with the first. So the first element is by heap by itself, uh, and when the second one is inserted at the end of the array, uh, then uh, look for the parental dominance of this uh, of its parent. It is not satisfying, so swap with that. Now it has already reached the uh, root, so it is a heap. And uh, the next uh, key is seven. So seven, you insert here and then check with its parental dominance. Uh, parent, with check with, with with its parent. It needs to be swapped, so it is going to be. Uh, it doesn't need to be swapped in this case because parent is already larger than seven. And now next element is six to be inserted here, which needs to be swapped with two because that is if six is greater than or equal to two, uh, six is greater than two, uh, and it swapped here. It doesn't have to swap with 9 because it is not greater than 9. Now the next element is 5. To, next key is 5 to be inserted. So 5 comes here. It doesn't have to swap. Heap is already uh, there. And the next one is 8. It needs to be swapped with 7. So eight, 7 is pulled down and 8 comes here. And it doesn't have to pull down 9 uh, because 9 is greater. Then uh, next element is uh, next key is 10 to be inserted here. Uh, so 10 uh, is greater than 8, so it, it pulls 8 down, and then it it is greater than 9 also, so it pulls 9 down and 10 goes to the top. And uh, then the next key is 3. 3 is greater than 2, so 2 is it, it pulls uh, 2 down and 3 goes here. And the next element key is, uh, is 6 to be inserted. Then 6 is greater than 3, so 3 is pulled down and 6 goes here. And it is same as 6, so it doesn't have to pull down this. Then the new key to be inserted is 9. 9 is greater than 5, so it pulls 5 down. And it is also greater than 6, so it pulls 6 down. So 9, nine goes to uh, this place. Uh, 
and it is not greater than 10 so it stops there so this is the heap which is constructed uh, from top to down this is how it looks like as a whole right so this is one approach of uh, of, of, uh, of constructing a heap uh, if i have to analyze uh, this particular method how do, uh, what is the efficiency of it basically we started with the first element and 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 inserted one new element in every iteration till the last one so it takes n iterations on the top and in each iteration uh, we it could actually uh, uh, so in this case 9 moved from here to here or in this case 10 uh, moved from here to the top right so uh, a, a new element could uh, trickle up to its its root and the the maximum number of uh, swaps there uh, is is about log n and hence uh, this is this belongs to uh, the time complexity belongs to big o of n log n more specifically theta of n log n let's see some other method of creating a heap uh, in bottom up approach in some other video bye thanks for watching